What's up, friends? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing well. I'm so excited for today's video because not only do I have yet another holiday beauty video for you all to help you with your holiday shopping, but this video is actually in collaboration with another creator here on YouTube. Can you guys guess who it is? It is the beautiful, the talented, the wonderful, the spectacular Jennifer from All Feisty. I'm gonna put an image of Jennifer up here while I talk a little bit about her channel. We actually got connected just through YouTube and Instagram because you guys told me that we need to be friends. A bunch of you guys were telling me there's this other influencer. She also lives in the Boston area. You guys like all of the same things. And obviously I was very intrigued. So I went over to her channel and indeed, of course, you all were right. She does live in the Boston area and we do love all of the same things. One of the reasons why I started my channel is because I don't really have that many close friends that love makeup, luxury, and fashion as much as I do. Don't get me wrong, I have friends that enjoy those things, but I don't have that many friends that are obsessed about these kinds of things like we are. So that's one of the amazing things that I love about this channel. Not only do I get to connect with all of you, my subscribers, but I also get to make friends with other creators out there that love the same things as me. So I was really excited to connect with Jennifer. I think what I really like about her channel, which is a little bit similar to mine actually, is that it's very conversational. It's very genuine. It's almost like you're you're sitting down with a friend and she's telling you all of the good stuff to buy, but not just the good stuff. She's also very realistic with the way that she applies the makeup, the way that she wears the makeup and telling you kind of like what's worth your money and what is not. So if you guys like this sort of very genuine, honest, no frills, just kind of having fun with makeup, no drama type of content, I really think you're gonna like her channel. And like I said, we like all the same brands, but sometimes she she reviews different items from the collection than I might, or she reviews something and she actually influences me to get it or for me to save my money. So I think that's always fun. And you know what? We were deciding what should we do for this collab because we really wanted to do a collab kind of during the holiday time. And I thought something that would be very helpful would be to go through all of the holiday collections because both of us, both myself and Jennifer have been reviewing these holiday collections, I think since August. Let's go through all the holiday collections and pick what are our five favorite things from all of the collections. What are the must-haves that we recommend? Because it's getting extremely overwhelming. Like, I'm sure you guys are overwhelmed. Imagine how we feel having to buy and review all of this stuff. It's just very hard to keep up with everything. And not everything is going to be worth your money. These collections are so, so expensive. So I thought that a really helpful video for us to do would be to pick out our five holiday release must-haves. These are the things that I just keep reaching for. These are the things that if you were my best friend and you said, Sophia, what should I get? These are the things that I would say, get this. Don't get this, get these. These are the things that you need to pay attention to. That being said, this is luxury, so we don't need these things, but these are the things that I love and I recommend. You don't have to rush out to buy them, but these are the things that I kind of, I think you should be paying attention to this holiday season. Before we get started, I also just wanna say, if you're coming over from Jennifer's channel or if this is your first time on my channel, then welcome. My name is Sophia and this is my channel where we talk about all things beauty and luxury. Typically, I post about three videos a week on all the new beauty releases. I do tons of reviews, but I also do roundup videos like this one. I do will I buy it style of videos. I also do fashion hauls, luxury hauls, you name it. So if that sounds of interest to you, then you're in the right place, my friend. Hit that subscribe button to join our fam. Also, if you like this style of video, if you like our collab idea, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and go over to Jennifer's channel to watch her video after you guys finish watching this one. I will be linking everything that I mentioned in this video in that description box down below as always. And with that, let's get into it, party people this was very difficult in fact I changed some of my decisions literally like a few minutes before filming this video I changed my mind a couple of times on what I wanted to include so you know I thought really hard about this I tried my best to kind of put these items into different categories but nonetheless these are the top five these are the things that I really recommend the first category are face palettes we've seen a lot of face palettes come out this holiday season some of them I've reviewed some of them I haven't reviewed and the recommendation that I have in the face palette category are these these are the hourglass holiday 
face palettes. These are the Ambient Lighting Edit Unlocked palettes. I have all three palettes. You guys know I reviewed all three for you to help you figure out which one is the best. And I honestly love these. I can't stop reaching for these. I use all three. I have all three displayed on my vanity because they are so, so gorgeous. Let me show you each one. We've got the beautiful butterfly palette. This one is best for fair skin tones. Also, if you just love this kind of beautiful flushed aspen cheek type of blush, there's also the elephant palette. I would say this one probably works for the most skin tones because it's like that medium tone type of palette. This is this is very feminine and elegant. This is just a absolutely lovely palette. I've been using the bronzer in this palette nonstop. And I also went in with the finishing powder today, just kind of like under the eyes and around the nose. Finally, my favorite one of these palettes is the Tiger palette. And this is the one that is designed for deeper skin tones, but even someone as pale as me can use this. If you guys watch my review, I kind of give you some tips on how you can make these more pigmented shades work for a lighter skin tone. This is just such a fun palette. I also showed you in my review how you can wear these all over the eyes. I just think that these are very multifunctional. I know some people had a little bit of trouble deciding which one to get because some of these have bronzers, some of them have more highlighters than others. You know, they have different types of blushes. I know it can, can be a little bit difficult to pick which one, but that being said, once you find the one you like, I think that this is such a must-have. Even if you have a lot of hours hourglass palettes in your collection. There is something different about these. I mean, the first thing is the beautiful, impeccable packaging. This feels luxurious. It feels very luxe. It feels expensive. This is the best packaging that I've seen from Hourglass and it's some of the best packaging I've seen this holiday season, quite frankly. This feels like a collector's item where even if you already have a lot of products from Hourglass, it feels a little bit more special than what we were getting before. And if you don't already have products from Hourglass, this is the best way to try them because you're getting so many different things all in one. They aren't a good value technically if you kind of break down the pricing of how many grams of product you get for the price but that being said they're not a terrible value and it takes me a very long time to get through all of these shades even if I use the finishing powders every single day it takes a very long time to get through them so I like having a palette with a lot of different things I love wearing these shades on my eyes I just think that these are so luxurious I dip into all of them throughout the week whether it be the bronze the setting powder, the blush, the highlighter. I also think that these are fantastic for travel. If you guys are going on any holiday vacays, either this winter, maybe next year in the summer, these are perfect to bring with you. This is gonna be your perfect holiday vacay companion. The other reason why I picked these palettes as a must have is because I feel like for once, Hourglass is finally listening and creating powders for some of our deeper skin tone friends out there. The Tiger palette particularly, I've never seen Hourglass launch anything like this before, not for deeper skin tones, not for lighter skin tones. And I feel like if I hadn't bought this, I definitely would have felt like I missed out. At least for now, these are all limited edition. And if this was to sell out and never come back, I do think that I would regret it. I do think that I would regret it. And I think that if you have a deeper skin tone, this is your chance finally to kind of participate in this holiday release. So I'm looking forward to seeing what else Hourglass launches in the future. Like this actually got me excited about Hourglass again and what they're gonna be putting out because I feel like a lot of us just felt really defeated with this brand for a while. I know that there's more that they can be doing, but at the very least, I see them listening and I'm excited to see what else they bring to the table. Honorable mention here in the face palette category, I was heavily debating whether I wanted to recommend the Hourglass palettes over the Charlotte Tilbury palettes that came out this year. I have the one in the medium dark shade and man, I just love this palette. The reason that I didn't pick this one is because I thought to myself, if this is limited edition and I didn't buy it, would I heavily regret it later on? I don't think I would regret it that much. I think this one is definitely easier to skip, but I do just wanna mention this one because I feel like these from Charlotte Tilbury, they're a little bit more giftable because I think that these are a little bit easier to figure out like which shade to get for somebody and the shades are a little bit more universal. Whereas with Hourglass, I think those are a better gift for yourself because you yourself know if you're gonna use that bronze if you're gonna use that blush, if you're gonna use that highlighter. I think the Hourglass ones, it's a little bit 
harder to give those out as a gift. If you guys are looking for a face palette gift, I would probably recommend this one from Charlotte Tilbury. Sorry, I know I'm cheating a little bit, but I just like to show you guys my thought process. The next category is best face products. So we're talking about bronzers, blushes, highlighters, face powders. And you know what? <laughs> I wasn't going to include these, but I just have to. I have to. These are the new Chanel Holiday Luminizers. I wasn't going to include these because I thought to myself, Sophia, you cannot put those in the must-haves. Are these really must-haves? They're so enormous. Look how big these are. They're so enormous. They're so expensive. They're ridiculous. You can't put them in the must-haves. Are these really a must-have? Well, you know what? I can't stop reaching for these. Man, I love these. They're so beautiful. I know that the shades are a little bit darker. We have Or Rose right here. It's a beautiful rose gold. And then we also have Cuvre Dore, which is kind of like a deeper gold. I will post some swatches so you guys can see what they look like and the differences between them. The finish of these is just divine. I, I just can't stop reaching for these. They're so, so gorgeous. There's a lot of holiday releases this year. And for whatever reason, these just like, they just make my heart sing. They just really get me going. Even though they are incredibly expensive, I must say they do feel feel expensive. They feel expensive when I use them. They're huge, but when I open it up, like it just looks so grand and shiny and impressive. I think if you gifted this to somebody, they would be very, very impressed. You could give this to somebody with like one of the fragrances because it has a little fragrance bottle. I think that would be a beautiful, elegant gift. You could pick maybe like a lip product or something else from the Chanel Holiday Collection, maybe a little gift bag. They're just so beautiful. And one of the other reasons, similar to what I said about the Hourglass palettes, about why I think these are a must have is because both of these are a little bit on the darker side. And I'm very pale once again, so I'm able to make them work for me. I think they really buff into the skin, but I don't really see Chanel super often releasing highlighters that are this dark. So I think that if you are a medium tan to deeper skin tone, this is finally your opportunity to pick up a highlighter from Chanel that's going to work really well with your skin tone, especially if you have more of like a warmer skin tone, maybe an olive skin tone. I think this one, the darker one, which is the um, Couvre Dore, I think it's going to be stunning on you. And especially because earlier in the year, Chanel launched that Rev de Camellia highlighter, which I absolutely love, but it is for fair skin tones. Like, let's be honest, guys. It's a light pink highlight. It's made for my skin tone. It's absolutely beautiful. That's definitely the one that is the most natural on me. And I felt kind of bad because that was such a beautiful highlighter and the formula is just uh, chef's kiss. It's so good. But not everybody can wear it. So I really appreciated the fact that Chanel kind of came to the table with these because it's the same exact formula except in some deeper shades. So that's the other reason why I wanted to recommend these as a must-have. I think if you love luxury beauty, you love Chanel, maybe you couldn't participate in the Rev de Camellia highlighter launch because it just wasn't the right tone for your skin tone. These are gonna be perfect. And if you're pale like me, trust me, these still look gorgeous both on the cheeks and the eyes. I'll link my review down below so you guys can check that out if you want more details. My reviews are pretty detailed, by the way, <laughs> if you are new to my channel. Like I really show you in daylight, in natural lighting, up close, what everything looks like, comparisons, you name it. So if you guys wanna see how I make these work for my skin tone, definitely check those out. I think they are pretty universal, to be honest. We're getting into eyeshadows now, one of my favorite things, and this category I named best neutral palette. And it's also from the Chanel collection. Hear me out, hear me out. If you're new here, I like Chanel, but I'm not a Chanel fangirl. I'm not the kind of person that like everything they launch, I'm like, ooh, it's so pretty, you need to have it. No, I'll be honest with you. I will tell you if I don't think it's worth it. I made a video about the Chanel Tweed eyeshadow quads and I was pretty honest in that review. Like they weren't really the best. I didn't think that they were worth the money. I thought some of them were better than others. Like they're not bad, but in general, I'm very, very picky about Chanel makeup because it's so expensive. And I'm mostly picky about the eyeshadows because they're typically not like pigmented enough for me. It kind of depends on the quad. And this one from the Holiday Collection, this one is called 937 Ombres de Lune, is so 
elegant. It's so romantic. I love the pigmentation from this one. Not only do they pack a little bit of a punch, but then you also get that kind of nice silky satiny kind of softness from Chanel. And then you also get this really stunning gold topper shade. I love a good center of the eye topper. I like that. I like a little bit of glitter. This is holiday. And so I love that Chanel gave us something that, let's be honest, it's neutral. Okay. So for some people, maybe it's not a must have because it is neutral, but if you like neutral and a lot of Chanel lovers, that consumer, we like neutral, okay? That's kind of what we go for. This is a really great way to do neutral for holiday. This is one of the first Chanel eyeshadows that I've tried where I actually genuinely love it. Not just like it, but I actually love it. This is what I wanted from the Chanel Warm Memories quad that I didn't really get because that, I, I like warm tones. I like all things, I like all makeup and I try all kinds of tones here on my channel, but I really have a soft spot for warm tones because I'm really pale and I kind of like to warm up my skin. I love the way that it brings out my brown eyes. I wanted that from the Warm Memories quad, but I just really didn't get it. And so when I tried this, I fell in love. I was I was super, super excited. I like couldn't believe that I liked a Chanel eyeshadow this much. Now, if you don't like smaller palettes or you like palettes that are a little bit more pigmented, I would probably point you in the direction of the Natasha Denona My Dream palette. I was debating putting this in this video as well. But the thing is like, I don't think that this is a holiday must have. It's technically a holiday release, I guess you can argue. I think that this is probably gonna be more of like a Natasha Denona classic. I don't think you need to run to get this it's going to stick around you could you know you can get a discount right now in the sephora sale i think that the chanel if you like smaller palettes that's more of a special holiday release but i just wanted to mention this like if you like bigger palettes this one has somewhat of a similar color story but you're gonna get a little bit more pigmentation you're gonna get more shades and you're gonna get a little bit more you know like sparkle and shine from natasha denona the next category is still eyeshadow but instead of neutral palettes, this is gonna be the best colorful palette. And it is none other than this one from Guerlain. This is their holiday release, obviously, and it is called Golden Stars. Is this a colorful palette? I mean, it is and it isn't. I think this is colorful for luxury makeup. I think this is colorful for probably a lot of us that like these types of elegant luxury brands, right? And you know what, friends? This is my favorite release out of all the holiday collections. Like this is number one. This is not a ranking video, by the way, but I just wanna mention, this is number one. This is, this is the piece I'm the most excited about. This is the one that I just was very excited about from the moment I tried it. I think it is more unique than the one from Chanel, right? I mean, that's it's a neutral palette. This is the one that you're probably not gonna already have in your collection. I love the fact that this is colorful and bright and it screams holiday to me, but it's still very wearable. You kind of can't go wrong. Like you can pair all of these shades. You could put one shade, two shades, three shades. I have all four shades on my eyes today and you really can't go wrong. It's gonna look beautiful every single time. I actually have on my channel a dedicated review of this palette and then I also have a separate video reviewing the palettes that are in the permanent collection. I've really been enjoying these palettes from Guerlain this year and I know a lot of you guys are really excited about them too. I've described this formula as kind of a hybrid between Tom Ford and Dior. You get a little bit more pigmentation than Dior, but you get that kind of soft airbrush type of effect that we get from the Tom Ford wet dry formula. What's different about this from some of the other Guerlain quads that are out there is that this is a little bit more high shine. There's a little bit more sparkle. It's not chunky glitter. I don't get a ton of fallout with these, but I'll tell you, I did this look this morning. I had a couple of like meetings and Zoom calls and every time I, I don't know, go to the bathroom or like pass by a mirror, I just can't believe the beautiful spark. The tones, they're just so bright and ethereal, but also sophisticated. You are getting what is essentially like three shimmer shades. This pink one, it's a little bit lighter, has more of like a transparent base. And so I typically use that one as a topper. And then you have this one, which is kind of like Guerlain's matte formula, but it's not really super matte. It's more of a satin, like think Tom Ford wet dry, but just like take the, the shine down just a little bit. Oh my gosh, this is just so beautiful. This is so good. I think that this would make such a stunning gift if you got somebody this and maybe paired it with one of the lip 
lipstick cases from Guerlain. They came out with that limited edition one with like the little golden stars, but then they have a bunch of other patterns and styles that you can get as well. If you got that, ordered it from the Guerlain website in one of those beautiful, stunning white boxes and gave that to someone as a gift, Oh my gosh, they are gonna love that. Their jaw is gonna drop. No one else is gonna get them that. Imagine how beautiful that little package will look under the tree. I am head over heels for this. The only thing I'm disappointed about from the Guerlain collection is that they didn't come out with any limited edition meteorites this year. If they had, maybe those would be in this video. I kind of feel like because this line is new, this release, the eyeshadow, almost replaced what would have been a new meteorites release. So unfortunately, I'm gonna have to live without the limited edition meteorites, but I'm very happy and very thankful for Golden Stars. For the last category, I wanted to do something a little bit different, maybe a little bit unexpected, maybe not if you already watched my channel. So this fifth spot is sort of the wild card spot. So I thought to myself, what else am I loving this holiday season? And you know what? It's gotta be all of the brush sets, all of the gorgeous holiday brush sets that are coming out. I bet more are going to be released and I was trying to think which is the one that I want to recommend as a must-have. The one that I think is probably the most versatile, probably the most giftable, and which is the one that I've sort of been reaching for the most, to be perfectly honest with you. And it's got to be this one from BK Beauty. Full disclosure, they did gift this to me, but I've been a customer of BK Beauty for a while since before I started doing YouTube last year, and I absolutely love their brushes. If you aren't familiar with the BK Beauty brush line, they are 100% synthetic brushes, but they have the plushness and the softness and the usability and the experience of any other luxury brush. They have really beautiful handles. They're kind of like this very chic maroon type of color. And this is what the bristles look like. As I mentioned, everything is synthetic, but it literally feels like teddy bear hair on your face. These are so, so soft. They're very versatile, as I mentioned. They're great for creams. They're great for powders. I'm gonna show you guys some clips of me doing my makeup today using every single one of these brushes. In general, I also think that these work beautifully for mature skin because they are so soft. In fact, my mother was saying the other day, I really need like a nice concealer brush that doesn't tug, that's really soft on my skin. Like I just need some new makeup brushes and I'm 100% gonna be buying her some BK Beauty brushes for Christmas. Don't worry, she's not watching this video, but I am gonna be getting her some of these for Christmas. Now this new line, what's really cool about it is that if you already have makeup brushes, which I know a lot of folks that watch my channel, you are makeup lovers, so you probably probably already have some classic brush shapes in your collection. What they've done with this line is, this is called the Core Line Extension. So they basically took a look at what they already had in their collection and they thought, how can we sort of fill in the gaps? And so all of these brushes are gonna sort of help you take your makeup up a notch to do more detail work. So some of these brushes are gonna be the kind where you didn't even know that you needed these at first, but once you have them, you realize, wow, it's so much easier to do my lower lash line with this teeny little brush. Wow, it's so much easier to add a little bit of definition in the corner of my eye and sort of create this look with this other tiny brush. So I did want to show you the brushes real quick and I've got some clips of how I use them. I'm going to be talking about these in the order that I actually used them. The first one that I have here is the 109. This is, this might be my favorite brush in the collection. I like to use this for concealer because it is that perfect like little paw print sort of shape. It fits very easily right underneath the eye. This is going to be your super duper like quick on the go ultra soft bunny foot concealer type of brush if you guys are familiar with their foundation brush this is kind of like the mini version of that i also use this for my cream contour today so i went in with the tom ford shade and illuminate in the shade 0 0.5 and i just gently pat that on to get a soft little chisel so this one is probably my favorite one. It is the most multifunctional. The next one that I used is the 111. This one is gonna be great for a couple of different things. I actually use this for my bronzer and because it's a little bit smaller, it's good for very precise placement. So I went in with my terracotta bronzer. This is the um, terracotta light in the shade light warm. And I just kind of applied that all over the face. I also went in with my Gucci blush and I applied that to the cheeks. Next, I used the 110. I actually use this to apply the Chanel highlighter today. I like to use this for more precise highlighter placement, just kind of on the tops of the cheekbones. If you want to really blend out these highlighters, I probably would go back in with the 111 and use this one. Then we have the 113. 
I love this one. This might be my second favorite one. I'm, I'm not sure. I really like all of these brushes. This one, it's small, but it's also beautifully wispy. I like this for powder placement. So I applied my hourglass finishing powders with this and it just fits so beautifully under the eye area, around the nose, all of like those little specific places where you might need a little bit more illumination, a little bit more setting. That's what I like to use this for. You could use it, I guess, for eyeshadow, but it's a little bit big in my opinion you could also easily use it for highlighter as well if you want a little bit more of like a natural blended effect because it is so wispy next we have the 212 so this is a little crease brush but it's going to be smaller than some of the other ones you might have in your collection so this is really great if you want to do more detail work i used this to apply the matte shade from the Guerlain golden stars palette this is the look that i'm wearing today i feel like this is a good in between where it's not too big it's not too small you can get a little bit more precise especially if your eyes are maybe hooded or a little bit more on the smaller side. This is going to be great for you if you want to create a little bit more depth, especially with some of these luxury formulas that have a softer pigmentation. You can use a bigger brush to go in first and create that like blended transition. And then you can go in with these smaller brushes afterwards to create more pigmentation and depth just where you need it. That's how you build up the color with these softer luxury formulas. Then there is the 209 and this is the cute this little detail shader brush. I love shader brushes and this one, it's so tiny and precise. It's so good, especially if you're going in with more colorful palettes where you don't want to mix the colors too much. You don't want it to get muddy. You need very precise placement. This is perfect for all over the lid. Or once again, if you have smaller eyes, you just use smaller brushes. And especially with eye brushes, once you get these tiny detail brushes, once you start using them, you realize you've been missing out because th they just make everything so much easier. Two more, we next up have the 210. And once again, this is another detail brush. This is perfect for like that inner corner highlight. It's also great for the lower lash line. It's so incredibly soft. It's not gonna tug at your eyes. Especially, I have very dry, sensitive, eczema-prone and hive-prone eyelids. I don't want anything that's going to be scratchy. So this, once again, is great for that little detail work. You could also use this as a concealer brush just to kind of go along like that shadow that you get around the, <laughs> around the bottom of the bags. I like to use this for that as well. And it just instantly like brightens and almost like lifts your cheek. It's kind of like a, a cheek lift in a brush. And lastly, we have the 211. This one is a little bit smaller than the 212. I'll show you guys a little side by side right here. I like to use these brushes for two different things. The first one is for detail work in like the outer V in the outer corner, just kind of creating a little bit more depth right there. I think if you have more deep set or hooded eyes, it's all about just like the placement, where you place the color and you just have to be a little bit more intentional and that's what these are great for. The second thing I like to use these for is blending around the look. If you always feel like you go in with your eyeshadow and you don't know how to make it more wearable, go in and blend around the edges. Trust me, it makes a difference. So I will dip this into my Charlotte Tilbury Press powder and I just blend and buff around the edges. So yeah, I had to recommend these. If you don't have basic brushes in your collection, I recommend their core line. But because I'm talking to a lot of like beauty obsessed people out there, just like me, I wanted to recommend this one because I think it's a really great way to take the collection that you have right now and just kind of bring it up a notch while also having brushes that are very multi-purpose for basic things as well. I do have a coupon code where you can save 10% off any BK Beauty order. So I will link that down below. I don't think I get anything if you use it. It's just there for you guys to save some money. So I'll make sure I include that down below as well. All right, friends. So those are my top five holiday beauty must-haves. Oh, that was hard, but I'm glad it's over. I'm relieved. I picked out my favorites. There were a lot of other holiday collections that I thought were good, by the way. I enjoyed the releases from Dior. I enjoyed the Suku pre-holiday collection. I like the palettes that Viseart has released. I like the stuff that Pat McGrath has released for the most part. But I think that a lot of those things, they're nice, but they're not the best. They're not my must-haves. So there's a lot of good stuff that's out there. If I, if you saw a review of mine and I was saying I loved it, I still love it. It's just I had to be very particular. There's a couple of other things too that I'm really looking forward to. I just ordered the new Makeup by Mario holiday release palette. I know Lisa Eldridge is coming out with something. Ah! 
<laughs> so excited for that. And I'm also very interested in seeing what Isamea releases as a part of her Isamea Beauty holiday release because I think she has something else that's gonna be coming out for holiday. So I'm super excited about that. I hope you guys like this video. If you like this video, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. It really helps out my channel. And don't forget to go over to Jennifer's video. I'm gonna be linking that down below to see what her top five holiday beauty must-haves are. You guys really should be subscribing to her if you enjoy my channel. I really think you're going to enjoy her as well. If you head on over there, don't forget to comment on her video and let her know that Sophia sent you so we can all be friends. And with that, friends, I hope that you're having a fantastic day and I will see you in my next one. Goodbye.